Tana! No, girl. Oh, this girl, man, she kills me. I love Tana, love her to death. She is a real one in the sense that she does this crap, which is very not real because she literally edits her body to a point that like, it's a completely different person, but she admits it. She openly talks about how she calls herself the Facetune queen because she openly jokes and lets everyone know, like I Facetuned my body in this photo. So she keeps it real while being fake, if that makes any sense. Girl, flaunt what you got. Like what's even the point of faking your photo if you're gonna be like, by the way, this isn't my body, I face tuned it. I don't know. Like your fans are gonna see you in person. They love you anyways. I don't get it. I met her in person and like, girl, you fine. Like fine. You know what I'm saying? Like hot, beautiful. You're good to go too. Oh no, I remember this. Oh, this was some tea on the internet. This was a whole scandal. This is Trisha Paytas. That's what she looks like in real life without makeup. This is what she was posting online. Another creator called her out publicly and said, your fans wouldn't even recognize you if they met you in person and like you're doing damage to your young audience. They might not be wrong. I understand that people love, there's some people who are very passionate about makeup and they enjoy doing a full face makeup and contouring their face and this and that, but it's like, it doesn't even look like you in the end. I don't know. I honestly really want someone who knows how to do makeup because I don't know anything. I want them to do my makeup like this. Like do a full face of makeup, contour my face. I wanna see how different I look. Like I, I wanna take a picture without makeup and then makeup and compare. I don't know how to do makeup. So like I wear very light makeup cause I don't know what I'm doing. What is that? Are those cinnamon? No, I thought they were cinnamon rolls but they look a little bit garlicky and buttery. So that's the picture online and then that's what they got. It, on, it doesn't look cooked in the picture that they got. But you know what? I've learned over the years of becoming an adult. Not to trust food photos. You all know that the McDonald's burgers and stuff that's in commercials, is that what you get in your bag when you order them? No, no, absolutely freaking not. So I never go off of pictures, you know, cause it's like, mm, that was staged, very staged. Next, well that's not even possible. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> this is like, this is silly. This is so silly. I don't know why they've removed every line in their hands, except the thumb. They kept the thumb lines. But like even down here, all the lines are gone. There's no palm lines, nothing. It's just like no one's palm looks like that. No one's knuckles. We have lines. That's very weird. When you actually take a minute to look at your hands, I have so many lines in my hands. Why? How does that happen? Why does my skin have so many lines? And how? I even have a freckle. Anyways, I haven't looked at my hands in a while and that was very interesting. I advise you to take a moment and actually examine your hands. It's kind of fun. Kylie, I mean, is that even the same dress? Like how does it go from that blue to that blue? I mean, editing, that's how she posted this photo, probably turned that saturation up to like 800. It looks like maybe she, you know, trimmed her body. I don't know. They're just different poses in all honesty. She might not, but her face, everything. She looks more tanned as well, but it could be lighting. It's really the blue. She obviously put some filters and editing on the other photo. Looks like a completely different dress though. Like completely different. Those are very different vibes you have going on with this dress. I like the bright blue, so I understand why she posted that one. This is me. This is also me. Facts. That is relatable AF. Good for you for posting. Yeah, guys. Yeah, I cannot stress enough how big of a difference there is for between high-waisted pants and low-rise. Like, my body looks completely different when you put me in high-waisted leggings versus like low rise, that's just a fact because my hip bones, your hips are completely contoured and your waist in a different way when you wear high rise leggings. So every time you see these pictures online, you're like, damn, I wish I had her body. It's like, okay. But like, that's probably not what we actually look like, you know, with different poses, 
different clothing, different lighting, but it also is very hard to keep it 100% real online because it's like some days I'm wearing high rise jeans. Like that's just a fact. My body probably looks a little bit more snatched and like that's not my fault. But anyways, good for you. It's not just bodies and faces that get tune-ups on Instagram. The locals would be amazed to see the photo on the left. Well, in all honesty, I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking at the photo on the left and I'm like, mm, that don't even look real. I would not look at that photo and be like, wow, this place is beautiful. I wanna go there. I, I look at it and I go, mm, editing gone wrong. It's too much. It looks too fake. There's no way it's real. Like, come on, those flowers, those aren't real. The pink road, the pink trees, like, I don't know. I feel like you gotta be a little bit of a fool to think this is real. Imagine this is real and I'm saying all this stuff and like, that's the real. <laughs> wow, I'd have to shut my mouth real freaking quick, but it's just, that's no, it's not it. It's not it. <laughs> What is even the point of that? I don't know why anyone, I don't know why anyone would want to look like that. It's not, it's not even a human face. Like, come on, come on. That looks like you took, you Googled Barbie or doll or anything like that and you trimmed it and you quite literally put it on there with like underneath your hairline. Like it don't even look real. It looks like your skin is gray compared to your hand color. Like everything, this is so, I bet she was so beautiful. I bet she was before this smoothing wax figure effect going on here. No ma'am, this is not it. The fence, that's all the note of this content. Okay, don't be humble, you're not that great. I need to think about this for a second. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I know what's happening here. This took me a sec. It's the same person posted these two photos. However, what's the fake is the location. Israel, Minsk. However, they're saying the fence is the same. And if you look, you can kind of see the Photoshop effect. It kind of looks like the fence was added or they're just angled differently. Yeah, so they're taking the same picture in the same exact spot, but pretending they're in two completely different places. Okay, that's too much effort, really. I don't get why people fake like vacations. That will never make sense to me because you don't get any satisfaction from that because you're not actually in that location. So even if people are like, woo, have so much fun on your vacation. It's like, I'm not actually on, here, like, on vacation. I'm not here. Like there's no satisfaction from that. I'll never understand it. As if the gal who did my tattoo has edited the pic to post on her story. Sorry, my natural waist isn't insta-worthy. <gasps> you better not have, what is wrong with that waist? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <gasps> I'm offended. What on earth is wrong with that waist? That waist is literally perfect. You are crazy. I would be Curious. They would not have my support and I would not go back to them and they would receive a nasty message from me. That's freaking rude. Rude. This is tricky because <laughs> they're not standing. So I'm like confused on what exactly they edited. Like did her arms are very thin. Her, her torso and waist look very petite. Her calves are petite, but then her thigh looks rather large, which is not a bad thing at all. It's just the proportions seem very off and I'm just confused, but maybe that just is the angle of things. And maybe she got a badonk donk. I don't know y'all. <sighs> I'm trying to figure this out. It's just something doesn't, it doesn't look right. And I don't know what it is. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? I'm so good. Lila, don't you dare start barking right now. Okay, when I look at the zoomed in, it looks like the stomach was like pasted on the body because like the belly button's not centered and whatnot. So it looks like it's not fitting. But then when I look at the bigger picture, like the more zoomed out, maybe that's just their body. I don't know, help me. <laughs> Am I right? I don't want to accuse someone of totally photoshopping someone else's stomach on their body, but like that's kind of what it looks like. Mm, let me know what do you think. Profile pic on Twitter versus still from the interview. I mean, there's no way I would even know this was the same person. Like no absolute way. If I saw that, they look like different ages. They really do. This person looks very young and the other person looks older. Not, not even being rude, they just look older. Doesn't even look like them. 
like no offense, but like even the lighting, like the skin shade is completely different. Everything, the angle of the hood, the jawline, nothing, no way. This is not even close to the same person. No, I cannot. Uh, this is humiliating. This is not real. You did not post this. Please someone, someone tell me that this was not an actual photo that this person posted and it was a joke because we obviously can see, first of all, sir, if you're going to Photoshop this massive arm on your body and the forearm, get rid of your hand because you have three hands in this photo. I'm not sure if the kneecap was something or if that's actually his kneecap, but you know what? That doesn't matter because we're all focused on the arm. That's very much not his. You have three hands. It's not your arm. We can tell it's not your arm, sir. Well, this is why you don't believe everything you see online. Maybe I'm not even real. Maybe I don't actually look like this. And we have photoshopped my face on my head. Wow, that'd be something. Uh. Anyways, I'm out of here. Uh, stay classy out there. Stay sassy. And like I said, don't believe everything you see online. Lesson learned. Bye. Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.